I'm going to show you guys maintenance that nobody does. I'm doing it on my truck. So this is the, uh, I'm doing all the uh, bearings on my truck. Um, see? Uh, this is a CV axle grease, which is the best for this. Okay, let me, hold on. So I was repacking this and I thought I was recording. So I wasn't recording anything. So, okay, so the way you do this is you um, you put the um, plastic cover and you put new grease in there. This bearing here, it's got over 200,000 miles on it. And it's still brand new. It doesn't make any noises or anything like that because I always do these things. So every time I got this truck, like, um, with, when I got this truck, I had it with 68,000 miles. So I started doing these things at around, at around 120, which it was late already, but they used to be fine. Everything was, everything was perfect. No, no issues with noises or, or anything like that. You see, I pack, I pack the, with grease both sides. So if you do these things, man, it takes no time to do. I mean, it takes probably a, two hours to do all of the, all of them, which I think is, is three of them, I think. Uh, see one two three yes three so you take your time do these things make sure you put it back the same way you take it out which this is the front right here and that's it you should be fine and some sometimes this thing fell and they sell you the whole thing which is really expensive like that tensioner right back there it's expensive so I try to keep this thing beautiful. Yeah. It's just when you're bored, you gotta you, you try to do things. <laughs> That's it. All right, man. I'm installing. I'm installing the last um, pulley, which is this one. So and the reason why I do these things, man, is because um, I seen guys with jeeps, obviously, no Land Rovers, that these bearings fail, man, in the in the middle of a of a trip and it ruins everybody's trip bro i remember one time i was with a friend on a on a camping trip camping mixed with the uh, off-road you know um in ocala florida the guy was driving a cherokee and as soon as we knew the cherokee was going to break down because we know that that's normal for them <laughs> so so like no lie, 15 minutes after we start driving, that guy pulled over to the side of the road, opened the hood, and that thing was steaming, bro. Pretty bad. So the failure was the, uh, the one of these pulleys, man. And um, so we start pulling the car with a rope attached to my truck until we got to the camping site and at the camping site we fix it but it, it, it was it sucks bro to um to have that kind of fetish no bueno